Hello guys, welcome back. Today we will be seeing how we are going to embed superset into React. So in previous video, uh, there were two videos. One where it was generalized uh, for embedding everywhere. Then there was one video where we were just showing how we can embed in Angular. And now this is the second video where we are going to show how to embed in React. So the first video is going to be common for both of these things. Whereas for React, now you can continue from here. The first step that we are going to do is to install uh, this dependency that we already saw uh, in earlier. So when we were facing issue we installed it so I added it here. And uh, next thing for react specific is this like we are going to add local colon 3000 because we are running react on 3000 in our course options in origin so you will already know that uh, from previous video it is going to be here so for angular we added 4200 for react we are going to add 3000 now once everything is configured we are going to move only to react part as dependency we are going to install this and npm install save xuss so this is to call http post and this is where we are going to embed so i'll quickly install both of these most probably I might have those installed but let me quickly do it again and until it installs I'm just going to go to CD and at the end you can see here we have this localhost 3000 and then once you add it just reboot the server and that should be fine now once we install this SDK we are going to install this dependency I'm not going to go into deep how we're going to create a react app and so on this is just a plain react app and i'm just putting everything in uh, app.js you can put it somewhere inside wherever you want and then route it accordingly okay so once we install both of this dependency we're going to go ahead and create our basic uh, things that we need so in order to do that again i'm going to go to superset where is our superset here then our dashboard and wait till it loads uh, as usual all the code is available here you can see this is where you can find this this entire code here the gate token method is here you just have to copy this entire thing and paste it in there and this is the app this is where uh, you are going to call gate token and this is where it is okay and this is where it is going to get embedded i'm just going to tell wow, all of these things one by one so okay let me just quickly copy this ip address from here to here and as we have slash here so we can just remove it from here now the, it is going to create superset api url where we are going to call apis and then this is our dashboard id in order to get this once you have everything configured from previous video you should be able to see embed dashboard button here once you click it you should add localhost colon 3000 here as well so i added both uh, this one is redundant i was facing some issue so you can just remove it and once you save it you will get this id you have to use this id in your sdk so i'm going to save it and close and paste that id here so this is that id that i got okay i didn't copy but it was the correct one now the first method is to call to get login how the flow works is you first log in with some super user who is having good amount of permission to embed dashboard to view dashboard to do i mean kind of like admin but not that level is not required i'm using admin but a good amount of permission is needed this user is going to call your login and it is going to get your first level access token so first level access token will have a lot of permission because this user is having a lot of permission so that is why i am saying even in github you can find that i have mentioned many places that we should not do this admin credential should not be used in angular code directly and so on so this code should always be put up in backend but as of here i am just putting it here but uh, i strongly think that it should not be here okay 
now once you put credential here we are going to call to login and pass body headers and so on and we are going to get access token now i am just trying to print, ex print access token if we get it or not but we are getting now once we get access token now here we are going to call it specifically for the viewer that we want this part also should be in backend because this access token again it should be secure so this entire from here till you call the function uh, i mean here everything should be in backend and then once you get result then it should be in front end now once you get the access token for this admin user we are going to call guest token so they are calling it guest token because they are saying that they have wider usage for this even other than embed but uh, i'm not sure exactly what it is and they are also not sure they are saying that it might come in future so here we are going to tell okay what we want to embed we want to embed dashboard and we have to provide a dashboard id which you can see it is the one that we declared earlier rls you can provide any rls for example any just specific that user want to see only records those are having id with his name or his id you can put it here then the user information this is i have kept it uh, static you can put it dynamically according to your requirement and then we are going to pass header application json because this is json it needs and this is the access token that we got from earlier request so this guest token is going to be actual token that user is going to use to embed so till this everything should be in backend and when you get this token it will have all the restriction with the rls and so on you can even put a uh, uh, yeah it is the role level security the rls part so the user will have only minimum access to view this report till this rls is implemented okay so then we are going to call this uh, http function and then once we get the result or uh, once we get uh, the, the token we are going to get the token guest token from this request and then we are going to call the embed dashboard function from the sdk this sdk function needs few things it needs id so the dashboard same dashboard id that we are going to embed then the domain so this is going to be your superset url the from where we are going to connect to superset then the mounting point this is nothing but the id of the element so i am just going to app you can see i have created a div with id superset container this same id i have used here so that is where it is going to get mounted and then we have the token so it needs fetch guest token so this is the token that we got and any configuration that we want uh, i have kept a lot of configuration in angular but here i just kept minimum you can refer to the angular where if you want to have like by default filters and so on so forth okay now this is embedded so this part is still embedding now uh, earlier even in angular we saw that the uh, size of the embedding iframe was not correct so in order to make it wider you can keep it like however you want but i am keeping it like 100 percent 100 percent so 100 percent have width and then 100 view it should be the view edge right so height and this is it this is the entire code that we're going to embed and you can find this code here So let me quickly start and vm start. Something is happening. Yeah. Now you can see it is loading. If you don't see anything, you can just go to inspect and you will find all the logs here everything we log you can find it here for example our tokens this is the access token this is the guest token then you can see the resources everything that we are logging everything you will find it here these are some error you can ignore them those are probably internal supersets error that we don't have to worry about and because everything is already rendering and give it some time it is going to get rendered see now it started 
the database is quite slow so that's why it is taking more time but usually it will not take this much time you can add code uh, in on top on bottom you can make uh, all the changes you can have it inside and then entire uh, sup entire react application can be configured accordingly so that's it for this video if you like do like share subscribe thanks for watching bye